So free space. That no. <laughs> <laughs> that Alright everyone, welcome back to my Arcade of Fun, in which we're going to be doing our second game of Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64. So far we've won $5,273 in one game. Let's play more. Welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Here we go. Categories for you are as follows. 1920. Colorful geography. Oh, okay, I should be good at that. Europe. Proverbs. Botany, and finally, the Civil War. Make a selection. As I try to add on my $5,273, I'd like botany for $100. It's the term for a plant that blooms and dies within a single year. What is an annual? That's right. Select again. Botany, 200 on a tuber, such as a potato, these tiny swellings are called the eyes. What are buds? You got it. That's right. Select again. I like Boggy for 300. Maiden hair and moonwort are types of this non-flowering plant. What is moss? No? Non-flowering plant. Um Maiden hair and moonwort are types of this non-flowering plant. Uh it's not moss. Okay, uh I have to pass. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? I don't know. It's a fern. Pick again. Oh, okay. Body for 400. It's the common name for aquatic plants of the genius Nymphaea, including the Egyptian lotus. I think I have a little bit of a clue, but I'm not 100% sure, so therefore... I will... I'm not going to buzz in on this one. Water lily. Pick again. That wouldn't have been my guess. Let's close it out. The Peleus, which has gills on its underside, is the upper part of this type of plant. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Think, oh, it's Madi who bumped in. Yeah, it was. What is a mushroom? You got it. Yeah. Make a selection. Colorful Geography 100. The city of Santa Ana is the seat of this Southern California county. That should be good. I should do all right in this category. What is Orange County? Right. Colorful Geography for 200. Make a selection. No rivers flow into this sea between Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. What is the Red Sea?
That's right. Colorful Geography like 300, again. please. A 1951 agreement with Denmark gave the U.S. rights to military bases on this island. What is Greenland? You got it. Colorful Geography 400. Collect again. At 5,729 feet, Mount Rogers in this range is Virginia's highest point. What are the Blue Ridge Mountains? That's right. Select again. Colorful Geography for 500. The southernmost Texas city grew out of a fort whose establishment led to the Mexican War. What is Brownsville? You got it. Ran the category. Select, Select again. again. The Civil War 100. In November 1863, Edward Everett gave the long oration at the dedication of the National Cemetery here. What is Gettysburg? You got it. Select again. The Civil War 200. Kennesaw Mountain and Peachtree Creek were battles in Sherman's campaign to take this city. What is Atlanta? Right. Select again. The Civil War 300. Enter. Daily Double. I have 1,800, um, 700. Here's the clue in the Civil War. He was over 60 years old when he took Mobile Bay from the Confederates in 1864. Who's Robert E. Lee? No. Sorry, wrong. David Farragut. Pick again. Civil War 400. This man who became president in 1881 was chief of staff to General Rosecrans during the war. Who is Grover Cleveland? Sorry, wrong. Was it him? Anyone else? It was not Grover Cleveland. It was James Garfield. Select again. Let's close it out. The Battle of Pitts Pittsburgh Landing is also called the Battle of This after a church on the battlefield. Bull Run, that was my guess. No, sorry. I know, wouldn't have Anyone been else? right. I would have been wrong. It was Shiloh. Pick again. We have 1920 with Proverbs or Europe. Europe for 100. January 1st, 1979, this country created the Canton of Yura. What is Switzerland? Right. Europe 200. Select again. This rocky side is known as the key to the Mediterranean. What is uh, Gibraltar? Right. Europe 300. Select again. The Danish national one is the Danabrog, brog being Old Danish for cloth. What's a flag? You got it. You're at 400. Select again. To the French, this country is Alamein. What is Germany? That's a correct response. You're at 500. Select again. Albert II has been king of this country since August 9th, 1993. I'm going to say what is Belgium. 
That's right. There we go. So We're in that category. 1920-100. The Psy region, now part of this country, was turned over to the League of Nations in February. Not 100% sure on this one, so I'm going to hold back. Saar region is part of Germany. Pick again. 1920 for 200. In August, this country, led by Polsudski, defeated the Soviets at the Battle of the Vistula. What is Poland? That's right. There we go. Select again. 1920-300. In November, he captured 404 electoral votes to Democrat James Cox's 127. Who is Warren G. Harding? That's right. Select again. 1920-400. This legendary tenor's last performance was in La Guive at the Met on Christmas Eve. Player two. Enrico Caruso? That's a correct response. Yes, indeed. Make a selection. Proverbs 100. If you can't do this to them, join them. Let's say what is beat them. That's right. Proverbs 200. Make a selection. Have but a few of these, though many acquaintances. What are friends? You got it. Proverbs 3. Select again. As well as a virtue, it's also the key to paradise. Patience? You got it. Indeed. Make a selection. Helen Keller was one of the people who founded this constitutional rights organization in 1920. Hmm. She founded the American Civil Liberties Union. Make a selection. It is said that man learns little from success, but much from this. What is failure? That's right. Now the last clue. Make a selection. An ounce of this is worth a pound of cure. What is prevention? You got it. Up to 3,900 at the end of the Jeopardy round. All right, it's time now for the double Jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. All right. Categories are... Famous Americans. <clears throat> opera. London. Baseball history. Photography, and finally, U.S. Geography. Make a selection. In 1954, the St. Louis Browns moved to Baltimore, becoming this new team. Who are the Orioles? Right. Baseball history, 400. Make a selection. In 1905 and 1906, this American league, te league team was known as the Boston Pilgrims. Uh, 
Uh, who are the Boston Red Sox? <clears throat> right. Baseball history for six. Select again. The oldest man to hit 400 was this Georgia Peach, who accomplished it in 1922 at age 35. Uh, don't know. I do not know. Oh, good thing I didn't hit the buzzing button. <laughs> <laughs> and that Georgia Peach was Ty Cobb. Select again. Baseball history for 800. Only two pitchers have hit over 400 major league wins. Walter Johnson and this man for whom a pitching award is named. Who is Cy Young? You got it. Baseball history Select for 1,000. Both the Mets and the Yankees retired this manager's uniform number. Casey Stengel. Right. There we go. Make a selection. Famous American 200. In 1927, he set a distance record by flying from New York to Paris without refueling. Who is Charles Lindbergh? That's right. That's Americans for 400. Make a selection. The oldest extent home designed by this architect was built in 1889 in Oak Park, Illinois. Who is Frank Lloyd Wright? That's a correct response. Best Americans for 600. Select again. When Bob Ford shot and killed him in 1882, this outlaw was using the alias Thomas Howard. Who is Jesse James? You got it. Famous Americans, 800. Like again. In 1955, he was given command of the Navy's expedition to Antarctica, Operation Deep Freeze. Who is, um, Raoul Amundsen? No. Sorry, Sorry. Wrong. wrong. Anyone else? Wasn't Amundsen. Let's see if Madi knows this any better than I do. Richard Bird, yeah, he's the one. That's right. Make a selection. 1955, Henri Cartier-Bresson became the first photographer to have an exhibit in this French museum. What is the Louvre? You got it. Top three, 400. Make a selection. Most SLR or single lens reflex cameras use this size film. What is 35 millimeters? You got it. Photography for six. Select again. Answer there. One of the two there double. I'll try 700 again. Here's the clue in photography. A sensitometer measures photographic, photographic film sensitivity to this. What is silver? No, that's incorrect. It's light. Pick again. Oh, okay. Photography 800. 1916 trip to Yosemite inspired him to photograph the American wilderness. Clyde Butcher? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? It was Ansel Adams. Pick again. Talk for a thousand. In 1837, Ian Weird Boybridge's photos proved at one point when it runs, all four of its feet are off the ground. What is a cheetah? Er. I'll stick with it. What is a cheetah? 
No, I'm oh, sorry, that's wrong. Oh, no, I have another guess. Is it a horse? Yeah. Select again. Too late. A famous American's a thousand. He taught chemistry for several years at Notre Dame before becoming head football coach in 1918. Buzzed in on both daily. I got both daily doubles wagered 700 bucks. Both Smoked up. <sighs> Newt rock me. That's a correct response. Yes. Make a selection. U.S. Geography 200. This river begins at Tear of the Clouds Lake on Mount Marcy in northern New York State. What is the Hudson River? You got it. U.S. Geography 400. One of the USA's highest lakes, Lake Wyal, lies near the summit of Mauna Kea on this island. What is Hawaii? Right. Uh, the extra for success. Like you know what? I'm gonna take a chance on this one. I'm not good at all. I feel good. Here's the clue in U.S. geography. This lake in the Sierra Nevada mountains is linked to Pyramid Lake via the Truckee River. What is... Lake Tahoe. That's right. Yeah! Select again. U.S. Geography 800. The Florida mountains are in Florida, but about 50 miles southwest of Las Cruces in this state. What is New Mexico? Right. U.S. Geography 1000. Select again. Washington's Puget Sound lowland lies between the Cascades on the east and these mountains on the west. What are the Rocky Mountains? Wrong. What? Anyone else? It's not the Rockies? Or was I supposed to say Rocky Mountains? No, the Olympic okay. Mountains. That's okay. Opera or London? London 200. The ashes of this father of psychoanalysis are housed in Golders Green Crematorium. Psychoanalysis. Uh, who is Sigmund Freud? You got it. Uh, London like 400. The tomb of the unknown warrior and shrine of Edward the Confessor are in this abbey. What is Westminster Abbey? That's a correct response. London eight, uh, 600. Select again. This bridge, London's most spectacular, is built by Jones and Barry in 1894. What is the Tower Bridge? That's right. London 800. Select again. You can ride down Rotten Row in this 340 acre central London park. What is Hyde Park? Right. London 1000. Select again. The golden gallery of this cathedral was used as a fire lookout during the World War II Blitz. What is um, St. Paul's Cathedral? That's right. Ran the category. Right again. Uh, opera 200. In a Goldmark opera, Assad, King Solomon's favorite courtier, falls in love with the queen of this. What is Shiva? That's right. 400? Select again. In the opera Tsar and Carpenter, this Russian Tsar works incognito in the Dutch shipyards. Who is Ivan the Terrible? That's, 
No, that's not right. Anyone else? Peter the Great. Pick again. Uh, 600. Mi Chiamo Mimi is a famous soprano opera in this Puccini opera. It is La Bohine. Pick again. 800. The Oracle is a lurid and violent opera set in this California city's Chinatown. What is San Francisco? You got it. Now the last clue. Select again. The hero of this oratorio composer's opera, Rinaldo, is a crusader. And it was George Frederick H Handel. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. On the road. Oh, uh, okay. And your Final Jeopardy answer is... The difference between a turnpike and an expressway is that you may have to do this on a turnpike. I don't know. Let's see if our contestants were successful. What did you put down as your response? No, I'm sorry. That's Slow down. Wrong. Oh, I think I might have a little bit of a clue what it could be, but I'm not 100% sure. You got it. Oh, pay tolls. Okay. You have to pay tolls. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Well, we do end up with $13,769 this game, and let's get our two game winnings total. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We will. In two games, we've won $19,042. We'll wrap it up for this uh, video, and I'll see you all for the next one coming soon. Mentioned my two game winnings total is nineteen thousand forty two dollars.